All right, guys, here we go. So this is going to be a hopefully very special episode for you guys. Uh, this is going to be a YouTube, a very YouTube exclusive content that I'm hoping at some point, maybe way in the future, once I get a new computer, that I can start doing a Patreon exclusive content. So it'll be a little easier that way as well. Uh, Patreon's pretty fun, have some paid content on there, stuff worth watching, uh, exclusives for games, stuff like that. And then I could actually afford a lot of the habits of video games that I've got, which would be nice, but that's uh, way in the future. Right now, just streaming, just making these videos to uh, put content out there, show what my nerdy gaming life is like and be able to make some friends of uh, people that want to play the same games as I do or people to play with, people to uh, just have fun with, connect with some people. And that's really all I'm playing for right now. But yeah, hopefully you guys enjoy this. Uh, let's get strapped in here. Literally, I'm not going to have any special effects or graphics or anything like that except the uh, Twitter link up there at the top and my voice no music either typically we would have some monster cat music over the top of this if you were joining in on a live stream but since this is going to be uh more personal just me you and my character here uh, i'm going to not do any of that kind of stuff this is going to be just an exclusive youtube me and you video and i hope you guys enjoy if you do enjoy hit that like button if you don't enjoy it leave a comment down below on why uh, just let me know why. I like criticism. That's how people grow and learn. And that is uh, definitely the fastest way to figure out what was wrong, what happened, and why somebody doesn't like the particular content. But yeah, just let me know, guys. Those likes do definitely help or subscribe. Anything like that, it greatly helps the channel since I am particularly small at the moment. And every little bit helps. But enough talking about the uh, self-promo bullshit, let's get in on this. So for any of the resistance rounds that you play, it all kind of follows the same track in the beginning. Uh, you want to make sure to milk these first two or three rounds as much as possible. Uh, the main way that you do that is instead of running right out on round four to get the data breach, you just hold up inside of here for just a bit longer. Because the like, especially on the fourth round, it's timed instead of by the amount of people, which means that you can just keep killing waves. The faster you kill, the more waves come in, the more points you can get, and that's a great way to start. Whether you're going for high rounds and levels, or whether you're going for the box open for classified gear or uh, exotics. So that's lesson number one, kids. Uh, if you wrote that down in your notes, then you're going to get a gold star for the day. If not, I'm going to hit you with my ruler right across the knuckles very hard. So hopefully you are taking notes. I don't really want to punish you guys, but I'm that kind of teacher and I will totally do it if I have to. Discipline is the key to everything. You must be disciplined. You must uh, follow the rules. If not, you will be punished. Oh, come on. I just want to shoot you and kill you. Not really that big of a deal, right? I just want to shoot you in the face with my gun. I just want to shoot you in the gun hole. See, it says there's a guy up there, but I don't see him. Oh yeah, no, he was down there. He was hiding. Just gotta remember though, because it does happen quite a lot to where you'll be playing and forget about the time limit or the time. Like, you, everybody's getting really, really into killing people, killing stuff, and then boom. You end up forgetting the time, the mission fails. And in the beginning, which is when it usually doesn't happen, is the most convenient time for it. But it usually happens on round, you know, 13 or 
later on after you've been playing for at least an hour. That's never fun. It is a very terrible experience and unfortunately I have went through it many times. Not very far away. Chill, chill. Thirty seconds remain for you. To Hopefully, those guys got it. I don't know if that's actually going to happen or not, but we're going to find out here real quick. Trying to absorb all these kills as I can pick up the points and then run back out there and help the team out. Oh yeah, my TV is still playing that stuff. I apologize, because I don't want any uh, kind of like mic echo or anything like that. Hopefully it's been alright for you guys. If you got any questions, feel free to comment. Always appreciate the good old feedback of Rooney. Viewers are the biggest part of this, and I actually, because I don't really have a good enough computer to uh, put a lot of uh, editing in, or I would, like I would go through and definitely make like full scenes out of a lot of the stuff that I make. Eliminate Unfortunately I can't do that, but all you really got to do is make sure that your videos are on point, that you don't mess up, that there's no mistakes, you don't say anything wrong. and just kind of chill. Main part of that is though is uh not saying anything wrong and I usually fuck up or I mess up when I go to switch and play another game. Next wave of hostiles in 10 seconds. Yeah, see, this is the way to do it opposite. Because they should spawn. Yeah, there we go. That's what we wanted. So that boss would have spawned up here if everybody had done this correctly but unfortunately that didn't happen so I'm gonna have to uh, turn on my tackling so that at like a minute we can just run down there and go ahead and bulldoze them right now I'm also using my house which everybody says oh the house is awesome for close range and for PvP yes But for stuff like this, like long range hallway, look how big that circle is. Like, that is not good. We are doing fairly good at milking the corners here. But see, that guy keeps running down here, and it doesn't make a whole lot of sense. This game is all about synergy and working together. Which it is nice that we've got two uh, bullet drops there. It means that we're not going to go through quite as much ammo. Yes, walk right in the way. <laughs> so just the boss is down there, which is kind of hilarious. He's all by his lonesome. Like his dudes were like, nope, sorry boss man. We are not going to be able to defend you today. You know what here let's go ahead and get out the big guns so now we've got our actual like proper guns out finally uh, the warlord is one of my favorite if not 
my absolute. Just because it is, it shoots a little slower than a lightweight M4, or shoots a little bit slower than a uh, what do you call it, a house or like an SMG. But the fact that it shoots slower means that it doesn't like kick quite as much as say like the bullfrog. So you can full auto it at people a lot easier. And that's my favorite part. Oh, created the dead looking group. Here, let's go jump down here and go roast this guy real quick. It shouldn't actually take very much. Oh, come on, guys. Are we really about to die right here? I can't believe we're about to fail this mission right now. Yeah, couldn't have really cut that much closer, I don't think. See, like that right there, like that was a very, very close call. <laughs> Ten seconds is all we had left. We just got to get back up here, though, for sure. I hope you guys enjoy this video. I feel like I'm streaming right now, even though I know I'm not. I'm just talking to you, my uh, very, very small YouTube clientele. If you're watching this on YouTube, maybe you brought it up on Bingling, uh, whatever it may be. Just want to say thank you for uh, watching the content. Uh, if you like Division, I will be also streaming some Division 2 occasionally, even though it's not one of my favorites. Uh, I usually tend to lean towards like old school games like Roller Coaster Tycoon and uh, a few others. I've also got Ten Jurassic World Evolution, which is also really fun. Not necessarily the most action-packed, though. Uh, some Gears of War Judgment. Unfortunately, we have somebody way off on their own. Which is probably why I got kicked out of the last game. Oh, come on, guys. I can't see when you're right there. There we go. See, these big guys, all you really got to try to shoot for is the side of their box, which I'm barely nipping right there. There we go. Oh, I totally should have had it there. I know I hit it. I know I hit it. Oh, that guy's in the fucking way. Oh, come on. But see, this gun does jump quite a bit. I'll shoot for the other people. Here, let's do this. See if I can get him to walk forward a little bit. I can't believe I'm almost out of ammo again, though, which kind of sucks. pouring through ammo. That's actually like the main thing. If you have a proper reclaimer, you will save a ton of points. I should have had my bullfrog out for that guy. There we go. See, that was much more precise shooting.
Even though I do love the Warlord just for the fact that like full auto shooting like that is so much easier. Like that right there, that was beautiful. So I'm trying to get that guy's box again, there we go. I'm gonna wait. I probably should run out there and get the ammo, but or the points, but it doesn't matter. I'm not really in for that. The only reason I play this is for fun and enjoyment. Now I finally have all the sets that I need or wanted, or all of them basically. Uh, and I'm not really looking for anything. I've got all my gear set just right. I've got all of it optimized. And even just getting a new set of armor would mean I'd have to get more dip tech and optimize it. And that's such a pain in the butt. Look, look at all this ammo we're throwing down. I might actually try to switch over to the uh, bullfrog here just to see if it does any better on these original guys. I mean, I really like this gun though, honestly. Like, this is one of my favorites to shoot people with. <laughs> Even though I'm pretty sure I'm probably not supposed to actually say stuff like that. But see, I can pretty well keep that on that guy. I don't know if I can say that I could like reliably get headshots, but being able to just shoot full auto with the entire clip downrange and hit most of them, it usually works out. See, that was pretty beautiful, I must say. Here, let's go ahead and try it. Since they keep putting down, uh, yeah, see, 275, 265, or 268. But this will, the bullfrog, if you have striker, is a good choice just for the fact that it shoots so much faster than the warlord or any other assault rifle, which means that you build your striker bonus up to 100 a lot faster. You also end up stealing a lot of kills too. I wanted them to actually like run through, but see, yeah, I can't. Look how crazy that is. Oh, it's because I have my stupid ass. Oh, I'm so silly. No wonder. I forgot that I was about to go to the dark zone before I did this. I've still got my nomad on. Here, now this should work a lot better. I mean, it did a lot of damage still, for sure. Like, that was doing hella damage just for being Nomad, and I like it. But putting a hurt on these guys is what I was really looking for. PvE damage is what I needed. So I've got my Nomad set up for just general PvP. You see like that right there, as long as they're, I can get like full shots on them. I also wondered why the guns felt so much different, it's because Striker has more stability on its armor than pretty much anything. So being able to just melt people is what Striker does, whether that, whether you set it up for PvP or PvE is up to you. Most people run two different sets of Striker. Make one just for PvP, and then one for PvE, since it does have its, uh, bonuses on either direction. Let's see how far we can get in here. See like that. Two people, two kills, one clip. Just because it was all right into them. 
I completely forgot about the data breach though because I don't have my mic plugged in. Hopefully they made it out to it though. Okay, so they did. I just gotta make sure to go out and try to help support them if I can get out there in time. So this is round eight. This is, I've messed up and forgotten about the thing altogether on round eight quite a few times. Not really to be proud of it, but it has happened a lot. See, I like the tactician. The red beret, like we're on Mythbusters or something, is always hilarious. I definitely am gonna pick up some ammo after this though. Like really need to pick up some ammo after this. But look how fast that shoots, that is so fucking crazy. It just drains the ammo. Guy's still still chilling up there, which is kind of funny. Oh yeah, shit. Let me grab ammo, 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 ammo. La lucha ammo. Oh. See, that was beautiful. Beautiful. Oh my god, and I got 20 <laughs> kills that round. That was kind of ridiculous. That was the difference though. I was getting even kills with all these other guys until I put the striker on and then it just was completely different. I'm trying to take out that gun right there is what I really need to take out. There we go. Those guys are right there, not the shotgun running guys, but like they've got a uh, like shotgun and a full fucking turret on their back. was beautiful. Next wave in 20 seconds. Ten seconds until next wave of hostiles. Yeah, we did it right this time. That was beautiful. See, the main thing is for a striker is just keeping your bonus up, making sure that you're hitting them when you're shooting them.
I so much would rather be killing that medic back there. There we go. The fact that that boss is just sitting on the corner is hilarious. I've never seen him do that before. Well, other than earlier today, I should say. He's stuck, it looks like. Whoa. That was weird. See, I do like this gun, but honestly, I can't get used to it without having my striker on. The Warlord's the way to go. Like, it just melts through people. It doesn't have... It has just as many shots, too, which, unfortunately, they did take down the amount of the extended mag on Division 2. That's one of the reasons that I jumped out of there as well. It's one of the few games that I've actually paid full price for, like, the... $50, $60 mark in a long, long time. It's just like a mass of flames and colors. <laughs> it looks so crazy. Oh, he's stuck in the wall. Look at him. Here. Oh, this poor guy. His backpack. Oh, look, his arm's stuck there, too. <laughs> and all the bodies. So many bodies. Get bodied, son. No, I don't know. Next wave of hostiles in ten seconds. Uh oh. Here we go. If you are outside of the hallway too much, they do start spawning uh, behind us, and that is never a good thing. And if you've been keeping track whatsoever, here I'm gonna throw. Been getting top kills ever since I got the striker armor on. Nomad was doing good though. I'm not gonna lie. I was definitely kicking some butt on Nomad, and it would mean that like if something happened, I'd be able to stay alive longer than the rest of the team if like ever if something really did happen. Yeah, I'm putting it right on there. Besides that time, I can't believe I lost that one. No big deal, though. I'm not a sore loser, I swear. So, round 12 is going to be a little crazy. Round 13 is a little crazier, but 14 and 15 is where the true metal of this team will get tested. That guy's got Lone Star on. I can tell by the fact he's got an Alejandro. Uh, that guy's got a showstopper on. I have no idea what he's actually running. I'm hoping it's something useful, but you never really can tell. Oh, we used a recovery link for just one guy. That's alright. 
He got smoked. See, I, I really do go for the kills on this, and I know most people don't because it's like a team effort on how high levels you get. But I like coming out on top on most kills. It's not matchmaking on uh, Halo, where I used to actually be able to get like... I was really, really into that Halo life back in the day. I think a lot of people were. But that was back when on Xbox I knew at least people through school, like a bunch of people to play with at any given point in the day. They all like the same games. Now, uh, getting almost to 30, it's hard to find a bunch of adults that want to play games. <laughs> Unless that's why I started streaming is that there is a lot of adult streamers that you wouldn't think necessarily if you saw them out in the day that they were uh, super nerds or video game players, but you will be very surprised. I'm gonna have to get off here very soon. As soon as we die, which it's hard, very hard to tell when that might be. We might make it up to round, who knows. We could go all the way. Uh, I don't really know what that message is going to be for, but... There we go. Oh. I would read that message, but I feel like it's a trap. <laughs> it's gonna be something really silly, and I'm gonna feel bad because then we'll all die. Here, let's throw over to down there and see what happens. Got that guy in the head. See, look at his health. He's like a Superman right now. Just because there's one heal box on him from those medics that are chilling out behind him, he's turned into fucking Tank Superman. Tank Superman! He flies through the air doing what he can. Okay, seems like a good time to check. Let's see. It's a good question. I would say, I think we should leave one guy alive on this round and go for the box. We should have enough to pop it twice if we want to leave the big shield guy alive and go ahead and run down there. We have enough points. We want to go ahead and kill that medic. Hey, let's go. Oh, no, there's one more. There we go. Okay, let's go, let's go. Stop killing. There we go. And I will drop whatever classified or exotic or basically anything I get out of the box I'll drop for you guys. So this is what the main goal is. This is what everybody really, really shoots for when they're playing Resistance, which, I mean, yes, there is a shield, uh, 
a div shield for going through on getting 15 on all these and it is fun to try to see how high of a score you can get but really everybody comes for this reward chest right here and there's two on every map hopefully we can get the box twice I got dead eye braces classified. And now let's see what happens on this next round. Maybe we'll get it, maybe we won't. I'm gonna go ahead and drop these though. This is what I always do for other people. Oh, I can't. Lone Star Holster. Yeah, see, I'm always nice like that. That's how I always treat people that I play with. I give up the loot so they can have it, especially if they don't have a gear set or if they're missing a piece. I will tell you now that the few months that I really, really put in a lot of time on this game and grinded it, I, uh, I really enjoyed... Or not enjoyed. I The main way that I finished off my sets, because this game has a really funky way of say you need one piece in a set and you go through and you buy a whole bunch of classified pieces or buy a whole bunch of stuff for it it won't give it to you still it's like nope not gonna let you have uh, the specific piece that you're looking for and it will hold away like your holster or your knee pads or something it'll pick one piece it'll give you the other five no problem just like hand them to you like candy but with that six piece nope not gonna happen you gotta work for it. You gotta really, really strive for it to be able to get it. But yeah, now that we pop that box twice, uh, if you do it again, after the third pop, you have to go to the other side of the map. Because it's a lot cheaper that way than it is opening it again. Oh no, sorry. I said that incorrect information. Sorry. Uh, you pop it twice on one side and then go to the other side of the map and pop it again. I will also say that D3, like that guy has, is pretty much useless in resistance. for sure. There's like no point in having D3 on. Even if you have it built out right, Striker, Lone Star, or Reclaimer, uh, or even Tactician. All very, very good choices, but not anything like D3, because one, it blocks the other people that are trying to shoot. And two, you don't do very much damage only holding an SMG, even if it's a house. Like, the house has terrible accuracy for more than just, like, a little ways away from you. So you really gotta pick out what kind of armor works best in a team. If you've got one reclaimer, a tactician, and then, like, either two strikers or a striker and a lone star or even two lone stars, whatever it is. Uh, you just really want a support, uh, a healer, and then two attacker damages. Twenty 
60 seconds until next wave. Here we go. This is going to be the rough one. So this is when the hunters come out. Round 15 is the make or break. Whether you're going to open the box twice, which we already have actually. We did pretty good on the points thing. But whether you're going to make it past 15 and get that next tier cash is really... you got to decide that out how good of a team you got. <laughs> Please tell me they're not spawning out there. There we go. Once they run through here, we're gonna try to, oh. Did he just shock me? Did that dude just shock me? At some point though, they will try to run out. Or they'll charge us and run this way. When they do that, you pop attack link and destroy them. They're all gunning for me because I do the most damage out of anybody, but that's all right. Oh, this dude's blocking my fucking shots. Not very nice. Uh-oh. That stupid fucking... Dude, all that D3 does is block people's shots. For real. Like, it doesn't do a goddamn thing. Well, we did it. Round 15. That's how you uh, make it from start to finish. We're about to probably get taken out, though, here very shortly. Hopefully, because it is getting late. It's already 1.30. Uh, this is the uh, YouTube exclusive content that I want to make for you guys. Just me, the video game, your eyeballs, and this luscious, luscious voice on this somewhat new microphone. Hopefully you guys enjoyed. If not, too fucking bad. You don't get to enjoy content. No, I don't know. That was a bad joke, but I do love you guys. Anybody that's ever watched one of my videos and checked it out is gotta be some kind of saint or hero or taking pity on my poor soul. <laughs> but that's why, because I really, when I started making videos, when I started streaming, I never would have thought that I would have had a last stream with more than a couple people in it. And I've had them up to like 32. And even that is mind blowing to me, and my <laughs> anxiety definitely starts kicking in. But it is still a lot of fun. It's still. All I gotta tell myself is yes, there are people in the stream, but it's still just me in my room playing video games like I do on a very, very daily basis. So it's not to be all worked up over. You just gotta have fun with it. That's the main thing you gotta remember. Is video games were supposed to be fun. Yes, some of them can be taken very seriously. Uh, like Gears of War and Halo used to make me rage a lot, and that's why I started playing more RPG games. Uh, Elder Scrolls Online, RuneScape, stuff like that. I mean, I was really good at Gears there, so I, that's what I played a lot without getting too ragey. But nowadays, man, it is, it's like the key to making me just like flip my fucking lid. <laughs> and it's hard for me to admit that, but it happens. I want to see how high of a level we get, but this has taken a long time, and I don't know what we should do about it. Next wave in 20 seconds. But see, I love this portable shield. It's one of my favorite things that you could add in. Oh, who shot my...
Hostiles starting now. Considering I don't have my shield up anymore since somebody shot it. I mean, it's not like I needed my shield anymore anyway. It does friendly fire and take out the mobile cover. It's better than using D3 though. This isn't good. Why is that? Oh, this is getting annoying. I think we might be screwed. Yep, we're in trouble. Yep, we're in trouble. <laughs> Look at that guy He's shaking his head over my dead body with his, uh, with his, uh, low class and antagonizing uh, grin yep that was the end look at these fools they're shooting at a dead man well that was a good game look at those kills right there 156 next one up was 95 but thank you guys for joining me tonight this is my YouTube exclusive content nowhere else will you find this video other than YouTube and maybe Facebook, but that's a different story because it doesn't have any music on it, which I usually have licensed through Monster Cat. Facebook doesn't do licenses, so they always mute my stuff. This one is not, so I can use it. But yeah, thank you guys for joining me tonight. Uh, I am Punk Hazard. If you want to catch my live streams, I'm actually going through a little bit of a rough time right now, but if I do stream, it is twitch.tv slash punkhzd. Uh, you can catch me most nights after work. If you ever want to get down and play some games, either on computer or Xbox, just hit me up, send me a message, or join the Discord. Thank you guys again, and I will catch you next time.